I'm just messing around guys. I just did a little dramatic pose to get a good thumbnail, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Yo, what is up YouTube? It is Ben here, back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly what has happened so far uh, in my job search after getting the Google IT certification. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say shout out to you guys for showing so much love on the first original video. I think it has like 35 likes right now while I'm filming this video. So shout out to you guys, I appreciate it, it means a lot. And it really motivates me to keep on making videos. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. One more thing before we get into the video guys, if you haven't already seen the original video, click on the link down below. It's gonna be the first thing in the description. Uh, in that video, I show you guys exactly what to expect on the uh, actual certification, the course, and also my personal recommendation whether or not you guys should take this course as well. So enough talking guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So for those of you guys who don't know, I actually completed the Google IT certification course about a month ago. And right after I finished the course, I slapped it on my resume, I put it on my LinkedIn, I put it everywhere uh, where an employer would see. And right after that, I applied to like 50 jobs. I went on Google, I searched on uh, entry level jobs, internships, even full time entry level jobs, I applied to at least 50 jobs. The turnout was kind of bad. I ended up getting uh, a bunch of rejection um, emails back saying that they're gonna pursue other candidates and most of them didn't even respond back. So that's the harsh reality of this job market, but I was able to have or schedule one interview with Apple. Now this Apple job isn't really considered a full on IT job. It's, it's actually like a customer service based with a little tech in there. It's like a, it's a mix of both of tech and customer service. It's not really full on just IT. The position was called, I think a genius. It's called a genius or a technical specialist. Um, but yeah, I applied for that job. I got an interview and I'm going to be making a completely separate video on the entire Apple hiring process. But yeah, I was able to get an interview with Apple um, from the Google IT course. Now, now I have no idea if the IT course was the sole reason that Apple decided to you know, choose me to come in for an interview, but obviously the IT course isn't gonna hurt um, you know, my chances. It's gonna make me look a little better than the other people who are applying for the job. So obviously it helped me but I'm not sure if it was the main reason why they chose me. So just keep that in mind, guys. Now, don't let my experiences with the job search discourage you guys from going out there and taking the Google IT course and applying for a bunch of jobs. Um, I live in a really competitive environment. I live in the DC metro area, so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of other IT uh, people looking to get in these jobs as well who are more qualified than I am currently. Now, don't let my job search experience deter you guys from taking the Google IT course. I still recommend you guys take it. So take the Google IT course, get that basic fundamental knowledge and start applying for entry level jobs or internships um, and see what happens. You guys have nothing to lose. Um, you guys might have better chances than I do. Um, you have nothing to lose. Just go ahead and do it. I encourage you guys to still take the course. Now, the worst case, the worst thing that can happen to you is that you take the Google IT course but you don't end up finding a job. Now that's a pretty good bad situation to be in because you've already learned a bunch of things from just taking the course and then you can just use that information to go ahead and branch into studying for the CompTIA A+, and that will definitely get you an, uh, an internship or a part-time or entry-level job. Now if you're watching this in the future and you watch it a couple years later, maybe the Google IT course is more reputable and more respected in the industry. So then you guys will probably have a better chance of uh, finding a job after just doing the Google IT certification. But for right now in 2019, I don't think it's really enough. Um, you guys can use that information though to, like I said, go into the CompTIA A plus and definitely get a job from that. Um, now the whole main thing I wanted to talk about is that you guys don't let your job search discourage you from continuing to progress and learn. Uh, constantly learn guys, constantly better yourself. Um, self-improvement, believing in yourself and constantly grinding. And I guarantee you guys, you'll be able to find a job in no time. Now, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you got this far, I appreciate you. 
yes, you watching this video right now. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me that you guys took this time to watch this video and hopefully you guys learned a thing or two uh, from this video. Now that's gonna conclude the video guys, but I also wanted to talk about my future videos and the future uploads that you guys can expect. I got some bangers on the way guys. I have a, um, a CompTIA A plus 1001 uh, journey study video that I'll be making and releasing in a couple months. So be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the no notification bell so you guys don't miss out on it. I know a couple months is a long time, but trust me, um, I'll be working on it and hopefully it'll help you guys out. Also, as I stated before in this video, I'll be making an Apple interview process video. So if you guys are interested in possibly working for Apple or applying for the job at Apple, um, definitely subscribe and uh, expect that video coming real soon. I'm currently still in the Apple hiring process, so I don't, uh, I can't make that video right now. But um, once this entire process is over, whether or not I get the job, I'm going to be transparent with you guys. And I'm, I'm still going to be able to make that video and pump it out for you guys. So if you, made, if you guys made it this far, man, even after the concluded conclusion of the previous video or the previous part of this video, I really appreciate you. Yes, you watching this video. Um, please hit the subscribe button. Um, like I've said like 10 times before this, but... Uh, subscribe if you're new and also hit the like button. It means a lot to me um, and hit that notification bell So you guys don't miss out on future uploads guys. We're in it together. We're in it to win it and uh, With that being said guys, my name is Ben and I'm out. Peace